I gotta get this while it's fresh on my mind. Should have got it last night, but I didn't didn't do it. But these these uh fools. The reason I make these videos and post them, for the most part, not the only reason. Big reason is for the perps. And exactly what I'm about to explain is one of the reasons is is uh for them. I know they don't have to actually view them as a uh, you know uh to see but because they you know that they, they got whatever they use to go through your computers and phones and so they they're gonna get this and like i said they're like kids they're whoever's in charge is like a big petty kid who who is more into get back and pay back than what this so-called program is supposed to be about if it's about we're the ones who need to be watched because it's so dangerous why are your feelings getting hurt and the like this is it's just so funny to me last night they uh one of uh the, the these instagram people uh started following recently like uh, maybe a month ago they did a whole recreation of my Tuesday night. They were in the kitchen uh, uh, cause I was cooking and just uh, going through my phone. So uh, this is last night and this is fast. They, whoever this person is or wherever they stayed, they had to do the whole, you know, they normally they, they're all glammed up on Instagram, but she, uh, you know, uh, did it at at home with the comfortable clothes on, you know, in the kitchen. And when my screen name popped up, they spoke, you know, like the the condescending. Oh, hey, glad you. Uh, OK. Now, any other time you don't, you don't acknowledge. Uh, but soon as. Uh, so when I get my signals about this, these people, I know because they come at certain times. Well, you know how the program is. So. I'm surprised one don't go off now. The, they live videos. And, uh, is to get insight, more insight into this program. I believe these poor folks wasn't in the program until I chose them to, to follow. But now this one is definitely in it. Uh, full steam ahead. Uh, unfortunately for them. But uh, it's just so hilarious that and they, they, but like I said, niggas and and the black folks involved, they got their emotions. They hate being called stalker. They they using like the normal like slang word, you know, when when you're in high school, you know, stop stalking that girl, man. You might make a joke like that before. You know, I knew this program. You know. Like what used to be called a crush, you know, jokingly now we call it stalks. And now they're using it like they're trying to say it, but it, it with harshness, with meanness, you know, because the, like the mean girls, it's, you know, they use it like that. So that lets me know, like I've been said, I started making these videos to provoke them. And like anybody knows when you're angry, you get out of character. You can't fight like you would. Not only just mean physically, you. Mentally, you're out your character. You do stupid shit. That's the whole point of the program. That's what it was supposed to make us do. Instead, you're giving me joy and insight and hope for tomorrow with your stupidity. Like last night, I know this program is not supposed to make me hopeful. <laughs> that's that's fucking crazy. <laughs> thank you. They hate. Well, also they think they hate when I say thank you. They hate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, that was a good. New Year's Eve start. Well, it wasn't New Year's Eve. New Year start. What is this? The third, third day of the New Year, and you start 2019 with hope, even though it's a cloudy day. Uh, the sunshine, the sun is starting to shine a little bit. They're unraveling, unraveling, falling apart. See, look, there goes another one. Just came out. Uh, so. 
it's you know if it's supposed to be we're so dangerous and need watching why is it all about just getting get back like your feelings are hurt like where we were once friends or you know something that basically when petty why is it pettiness if the, the, all the money that y'all get from these people for this gigantic program it, it, it isn't about that means it really is some kind of experiment and some people say something about frequencies or we vibrate at a different frequency basically we can't fall prey to their stoop I call stupidity some of us that's basically all it is we're chosen for and that's another thing they get petty about I think it's not acting a part of the program because first of all these people are idiots uh, that they're genuinely upset when they do the you you know the the program is supposed to part of the big part to make you feel stupid and not say anything is the why you know because we're regular people why would they do that why would they choose why would people spend money following you yada 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 and, you know as in the last couple of months I came to realize one because like history tells us people are evil plain and simple <laughs> giving a chance to be evil and get paid for it and consequence free that's good enough their life is fucked up even if they got nice things big house whatever remember the old saying more money more problems yada 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 hey let's 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 do this we're part of a group now especially ones who want part of a group you also got ones who are always part of an in crowd group now they're still part of a group but the older so the uh Sorry, I mean, like it's not sorry, sorry, like, oh, I'm sorry, no, but like, sorry, your feelings hurt, but like I said, this is mainly a taunt for them, this is what these are for, like, I, I seen one commenter on my video, he tried to explain one of these videos I posted, the program, you know, like, I didn't know, and like I explained in one of my first videos, the whole reason I know, I found out it was COINTELPRO, that's what I started with. That's why I said Nazis, because I, I did. That's the first thing I saw. And this was 2016, January. This around this time, my anniversary of finding out what this shit was. After all those years, it was like around this time, 2016, right after New Year's, and something just said, you know, because of because of not feeling sorry for yourself that's exactly it got close to that i'll admit i was sitting there why is this happening i'm like i don't do this type of shit what that must be me so i typed in why just basically in the google why do some people feel so paranoid that is what i typed in and pops and pops up gang stalking I'm like what the fuck you know i'm thinking like normal gangs i grew up with in the late 80s and 90s you know crips bloods but then instantly i said no gang means a lot of people you know, gaggle of people. So then this must be something else. And I clicked, you know, and sure enough, it rains down the whole Cointel Pro, and it started in Nazi Germany. Amazing. Because at first I'm like, why would a dictator need a program, a secret program like this to control his people? You're a dictator. I'm thinking logically, you know, what you know about Hitler from history, what it tells us, at least what we're told in school and maybe movies. I'm like a dictator. Yeah, total didn't make more sense. His people, not the Jews he was trying to exterminate. He needed control over his people, the Aryans, the ones he, you know, his people. His, so he didn't, you know, the, with the neighbors spying on neighbors and gaslighting, all of this shit. So basically, like I said, it's, if you're a nigga and you're doing this shit. You represent Nazis. You might as well wear a SWAT sticker. You know, especially the older ones, 80s. You should know better. You know, but you're basically a Nazi. You know how we say it's been turned into a slang word uh, just for someone who's anal retentive or, you know, just whatever. Um. But literally, that's what it is. That's what you're representing, you know. Just like uh, we're supposed to honor our ancestors, that's what you're honoring Hitler's legacy. Legacy. I mean, 
They didn't want to cry about racism and this and that and, and you're a fucking Nazi. Get the fuck out of here. If he the won, what you thought he would have did to our ancestors in 1945 or whatever? If he would have won, fucking retard. Well, I won't say I'm not supposed to say retard. Never mind. But, uh, so anyway, this poor person last night, uh, did I didn't even see it because, like I said, I had other stuff I wanted to do. But I knew, I, I actually, when I get the signals that somebody's going live recently, I just started this. I know it has something to do. I know I'm, I'm paranoid, yada, yada, I know. But just follow, follow along. It has something to do with me. And this time, it was a big one. I mean, if I had been recording these things, it, the whole scene, it was my kitchen and everything. <laughs> they recreate. And like I said, you know, these Instagram folks, they like to be glammed up. This time, it was... Same kind of type of outfit I had, have, you know, just normal shit, sweats or whatever, you know, sweatpants. Because uh, it was nighttime, you cooking, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I say also about this program is full of shit. They're telling these people. That's why cops, if these people should have to be trained if this is go, was a, a real legit program. You know the government was running because you you don't want cops being petty. We know it happens, but that's why they get all that training. So when they do do it, you can punish them because you can't say I didn't know I wasn't supposed to do this because you were trained about it. You can't retaliate. Sure, there's things that'll make you instantly retaliate. Somebody kicks you in the balls while you're trying to handcuff them. Yeah, you're gonna instantly react, but. As far as just being petty, you know, you use a lot of things as a cop. You think about, well, I better not retaliate. There goes my pension. Or I better not retaliate. I'm going to I'm gonna go to prison as a cop, you know. So I got to get them the right way. I got to follow procedures. These people don't have. There's no internal affairs. There's nowhere we can go. And plus, you're just picking regular people. Most of them are already criminals. Felons. Uh, I know for a fact they're uh, felons. We all know that, but I you know some of us definitely know for a fact. And you, you know they went to jail before the prison. How many years? You know, like people you know personally, you might have grew up with. So, and they picked them to be part of this program. And you know some of the things they've done. And you know what they went to prison for. Yeah, that, that they're part of this program, and, and and but like I said, uh, it it's inadvertently giving me more hope every day. It's still annoying. That's another thing. It it's supposed to drive people crazy to the point of harming themselves or someone else. But knowing once a person knows what's going on, it's more. An inconvenience it's just annoying you're a pest now it's, it's not oh what's going on like it was I'll admit it too it was you know it's like what the fuck but sorry I grew up in the 80s and I was taught you know in the 80s they were trying to get all of us to learn to not hold stuff in to go to the doctor something's wrong say something even in the military in the 90s it was you know so Thankfully for me, when it really started getting bad in the early 2000s, like 2001, I'm cool enough to know and it's con uh, confident in my own to know, hey, I'm not embarrassed to go and say something wrong and get help, seek help. I wasn't worried about losing friends or none of that. I didn't, you know. I wasn't worried about people, oh, get away from me, crazy ass, yada, yada, yada. No, I'm like, shit, let me go find out what the fuck is. The only thing that disappointed me is, is I did believe too much in the doctors. I thought they could just give me a pill and fix it. But obviously they couldn't because it's actually a real problem. That's another thing. It wasn't that something's wrong and maybe they could have fixed it if something really was wrong. No, it's people actually doing this stupid, crazy shit, dumbasses. 
So, like I said, the irony now I get so much money because of it, and they, they can't stand that. The, the homeless people, it is the stupidity like this. Probably this idiot right there with the pink on. She probably is a nice looking person, but still an idiot. Um, like today's Wednesday, I'm sitting here making the tape because of these folks. This might not be a you know, oh, so wonderful, rich place. That's not it. I don't care about the money, you know, because it took a lot away from me. I'm still young. I miss, you know, my friends. They go to work. I miss all that. And you don't feel like you fit in. And it is when the depression comes in. You know, I've been working a long time. And, uh, even before I graduated high school, went to the military, it, uh, finished high school. But it, the reason, it's, it's not a brag, but... And actually, yeah, I can afford to buy a house if I wanted to instead of paying rent here. But I don't want to. You got to take care of a house here. You just call the maintenance guy. A house, you know, why well, buy a big old three-bedroom house? Yeah, it'd be some people, oh, that would be smarter. The same amount of money rent you pay here, you can buy a house. Yeah, you can do that, but I'm by myself. What the fuck I want that big-ass shit for? Maybe. But plus, also because of this program, I don't want to be tied anywhere for 30 years. Unless I buy one, a small one maybe, and if I decide to leave, rent it out and do that. I might do that anyway. So, yeah, like the joke's on you, assholes. Stupid motherfucker. That's right. Like last night. Stupid bitch. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all so fucking stupid. It still come at me more and more and more and give me more joy and hope. And it's, it's like, thank God for these these idiots. It, this shit probably would have been unbearable. Also, thank God in the 80s they were, like I said, it was the generation of say something. Don't You know, they were combating all the stuff we grew up with, you know, like... I don't want to go to the doctor. You know, the old folks in the 80s, the, them, them old folks, they say things. You go to the doctor, they always find out something wrong with you. It was like, nah, the doctor didn't find out something's wrong with you. You go in, all right, and then you come out with cancer. It's like, he didn't put the cancer. You go beforehand, prevention. And just why you get the checkups and shit like that. So... Uh, yeah, thank, thanks again, you know. But that, you know, another thing, how it makes huge this program and the people connected with Hollywood, I know y'all don't believe me, some of y'all. Uh, that's why I think maybe because another thing is our generation, not just my school, it started to, we, uh, that's why I think it's different. You didn't make fun of people. We were, we were different. I think it's really our generation, that's why that. They're starting to go back to that. They want it back like that. The the division, you know, I don't know what it was, but it was, you know, we just remember. I keep saying these lame motherfuckers. They're lames. This is this these are motherfucking lames. And the cool people didn't. You don't do those things no more. It wasn't. You didn't pick on people. The fights, yeah, they were gang fights, but there was reasons for that. You know, the drugs they introduced in our neighborhoods. It wasn't just stupidity, uh, bullying people. I don't remember nobody getting bullied and picked on. I remember violent people getting killed and murdered. Yeah, but I know that wasn't better, but, you know, it sounds crazy. At least we didn't pick on nobody. You know, nobody was picked on. Nobody was made fun of. You might crack the little jokes maybe on somebody irony it would be somebody you know your close friend he would only crack on them or something you know make fun of because they they'd, they'd come back you know we make fun of each other i know you know oh that's a good one i wouldn't get mad oh shit that's the funny i'm laughing too you know fuck you man <laughs> yeah 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 but you didn't do lame shit like that and that's why I can see you. It's so funny. It's, it, it's also annoying. It does get to me like one to whoop their ass because they're so fucking lame. And I know this to me. This I'm being the one that's arrogant. Like how dare you? Because it, you just wouldn't do that to people. It's like nigga, really? It's just, and I don't even. This motherfucker, you just lame as fuck. Oh, yeah, I, you know. You don't know what I do to your lame ass. 
and they they the celebrities now seriously that that's what you see it on the youtube they they, they you could tell they picked the lames who are all lame and and like they're doing lame shit it's coming out that you know the Getting caught cheating and shit like this is just so fucking lame. And the ones from the 80s and 90s that, you know, was supposed to be so dangerous that was going to get all us killed or have us doing stupid shit. Most of them were married the whole time and still are, you know, the gangster rappers. And it's just, just it's like I always point out on these tapes, we knew. I didn't know they were married, but you knew it was just music. That's what I'm saying, you know, all the bitches and hoes in the music they talk it is like but I didn't hear those back in the late eighties, starting in eighty six, eighty seven, hear those songs and start calling you know, they worried, Oh, it's so massage and it's like you understood. They explain if you actually listen to the song instead of just hearing bitch ho and listen to what they're saying, they were explaining what happened with the scenario, why, what they calling her that for, what she did, you know. And all that did, it didn't make me just start all say, hey, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, that's, nah, you knew better. You never, it just it had nothing to do with that. They didn't have to teach us somebody, oh, y'all need somebody to teach y'all to let them know. You, you, all it told us, oh, not to fall in love with somebody like in this song. You know, that's all it did. You know, but still the divorce rate around the world is high. Hell. So the music did nothing but I guess save a couple of guys from hardships like some of these guys falling in love. You know, this younger generation they try to use our words, but it seems like they don't understand either. And the bad thing might be because they stopped making the music, or you know, was so harsh on the music, and so they making these mistakes and pitfalls. And women can, they're the ones, main ones, that call a, a whore out. Another woman, they're the main ones who are calling a, another a whore, a whore, and shit like that. Uh, but you got the ones, the agents, and the ones who are just dumb. Oh, you should never call nobody, uh, blah, blah, blah. What about the men? And we're all trying to explain, uh, it's more harsh mentally, physically. For that woman who sleeps around, you could call it bullshit, whatever, but all the ones, pregnancies and this and that. Well, men should learn more. And, uh, all right, you keep going that way, trying to, and see how that works for you. But, yeah, I went off into something else besides gang stalking. But, anyway, like I said, uh, thanks again, y'all. Keep up the good work because we need... Uh, like I said, one guy posted on my video, he, he was saying it's not illegal because of Patriot Act. And it's like, no, fool, <laughs> that doesn't cover this. We aren't terrorists. There are the terrorists. I don't know. I don't know if he was really working for them, as the people say. He posted on one of my videos um, a comment about a week ago. I... Um, but yeah, he, if he sees this, I saw it. But I did answer. I, I also left him a link to a, a move on protest um, that actually goes to the the UN, United Nations. That's what I'm saying. This is a worldwide problem. First of all, it's not just the United States, and it is totally illegal. So yeah, bro, he thought he was, you know, being smart. I don't know if he. It seemed more like he just thought. Because he, he's trying to convince me, like, because he said something you need to look at. I'm like, first of all, I know that. I'm not, I mean, it's not me arguing and got to be right. I'm telling you, that's how it started off with the actual, with me knowing is the actual fact of where it started. The actual program, Cointel Pro. And government programs, uh, you know, how they spying on the Black Panthers and stuff like that. Uh, any so-called group, terrorist group, homegrown, FBI and shit like that. But, damn, I hate it saying those words. <laughs> you know, they, uh, they admit it. They have, uh, they listen in. And they said that, that part, you know, Obama admitted admitted you know they but they looked so called looking for keywords you know when they're spying on our conversations and shit like that it has to be words together but uh yeah it uh so uh he did give a, a good 
um, information to look some more, but it's already, I already know. And as far as the, oh, you saw this, uh, no, that's why I said I have proof. Um, before there was a YouTube and social media, I started seeking help for this shit. So, and saying the same fucking things. And I got documented proof way back 18 years ago. So, no, I didn't see this. Oh, shit, this is... Oh, let me jump on the bandwagon. And no, bitch, like I said, I get paid for it after all these 18 years. It, and trust me, it takes a long time. You know how long the government works. They don't just, you don't just go in and say, hey, I'm, I'm having a problem. They say, here you go. Here's this money. Here, buddy. You know, here, here, here's all this money every month. No, it takes, takes decades, you know. Trust me, it, you know, it's also, you know, Cause I'm not talking about whatever uh, Social Security, I don't know um, I go to the VA Veterans Hospital That's another reason why I asked help it, It's, like I said uh, You know, the little posters in the VA You know, they got the little Posters uh, That, you know, try to Give us motivation in the hospital, you know, because we're soldiers, sailors, whatever. And one of them really did keep me going back. One of them, it really did work, you know. So, sitting in the doctor's office one of them days, way back in 2003, one of my appointments in it. And it said some things, and, hey, you know, that's right. So, uh, that's why. So, yeah. But that's also, I think, there's people inside the program trying to stop y'all. So y'all, but again, thanks for the pettiness. Keep it up the good work on my part for me. Thank you.